All right, everyone. Here is a Delonkey personal ceramic heater. This is a heater I've been wanting to do a video of for a while, and now I finally got my hands on one, so here we go. So this heater actually replaced my Vornado metal heater fan. Uh, my father saw that heater and he loved it so much, he offered to reimburse me fully of that one, and he let me pick out a new one. Now, I love the Vornado heater, and definitely Vornado is pioneers at what they do. However, I wanted something that had a delayed start timer and a eco mode. I'm all for saving electricity this year, and I figured I would go with something that had like an eco mode while I could still be warm, but use a lot less money. Unfortunately, Vornado didn't have that, so I figured I'd try something else. Uh, Delonkey. I've had many heaters from them in the past, and they've always been fantastic. I've never had any issues with them. I know a lot of people <laughs> want to say that they're more like of the luxury heaters, which I definitely feel like it's true. Um, they don't take safety lightly. I mean, there's a whole bunch of safety features in these heaters. Tip over, of course, being standard in these heaters, and I absolutely love that. Um, I also wanted something that was more slumline because the Vornado was pretty thick and where I wanted to put this I needed a little bit of a thinner heater and this is exactly what I needed. Um, there's the front of the heater and I will show you the back. There's two different sizes. There's a smaller one and then there is the bigger tower unit which just uses a larger ceramic element, but everything else is exactly the same. And this unit following the trend, I guess, of the slimline ceramic heaters, this one actually has a little CPU fan inside, uh, just like the Honeywell that I had, um, very similar setup. I like this little um, DC motor fan in these heaters because of course they save energy as well and I haven't noticed a difference between this one and an AC motor. I mean it's still very strong for what it is. Um, it does sound like a computer when it's on because you know it's a little CPU fan it's going to make that noise but I feel as if it's a lot quieter and it just works just as well while saving electricity. There it is in there just in case if you wonder and of course there is a grill. It really doesn't do much, but it's supposed to catch some of the big particles so it doesn't get as dusty in there. Um, I don't really know what that stuff is in there, but that's okay. There's the thermostat right there. And I will go ahead and demonstrate the different features of this heater. First, let me just show you the tip over switch. So when the heater does tip over, the little green dot blinks. And when the heater's on, it'll shut off, and I'll show you that in a little bit as well, but just thought that was pretty cool. So even if the heater's off and it tips over, it cuts power to it. It does beep, and I feel like it beeps kind of loud for what it is. I don't think the world needs to know um, that I'm turning on and off a heater, but that's more of a personal preference. Anyways, let's go ahead and turn this heater on. I'm going to start off in fan. And it does really sound like a little CPU thing. But definitely for what it is, and considering the ceramic element blocks a lot of air, it's not bad at all. I mean, I really wouldn't recommend just using one as a fan only, but if this is your last, last, excuse me, last resort, I think it's fine. It does oscillate as well. Now, one thing I found weird is the fan is the only thing driven by direct current. Everything else is alternating current, like the electric motor that drives the oscillation in the element. Back 
to the position it's best to see it in. We'll go through a couple of the modes. So we have fan here, anti-freeze. If the room that it's in drops below 45 degrees, the heater will kick on to keep pipes from freezing, which I think is really nice. If you put this in a basement, it's really nice for that. And we have low heat. So it kicks the fan and the element in the lower setting. And you can't feel it, but the element gets warm very quickly. That's another pro with these ceramic heaters. It's instant heat with these. Um, and while it's definitely warm, everything else on the heater that's plastic is cool to touch. Um, naturally, these grills being metal, they do get warm. Common sense is obviously needed when you use one of these things, but you don't have to worry about touching this and getting burned. Just this little part is the only thing that gets hot. And you can adjust the thermostat from a pretty wide range, 60. I believe it goes up to 90. That's where the beeping gets very annoying. Yep. But we're gonna put it at a comfortable 77. Then we'll kick it up to high heat. And it really rips. Like I said, low is perfect for my bedroom. I don't need anything above that, but if you really just need that instant heat immediately to just quickly take off that chill, number two is fantastic. And then Eco. Which essentially varies the heater from low and high. to still give you the same amount of heat, just using a lot less electricity, which is really nice. So it'll run it low for a little bit and then it'll bump itself up to high if it notices that it's getting a little too cold. And that goes from 79 up to, or down to 60, I believe. Yep. Put that back up to, 77. And then I'll show you the timer, which goes from half an hour to 24 hours. So you have up to 24 hours. And then I'll show you the cutoff real quick again. Instant off. And then when you position it back up, it comes right back on. And like most of these fan heaters, after you shut them off, there's always a little delay where the fan runs for a couple seconds just to cool off the element, which I think is fantastic too. And then shuts off. And the same thing for the timer. You can delay start it up to 24 hours. So that's really all there is to it. Whenever the heater is plugged in, that little red LED is always on to let you know that power is going to the heater. And overall, I highly recommend it. I think if you're looking for a small, safe ceramic heater, whether it be for a bedroom, an office, or whatnot, or even if your heat just goes out, this is a really good unit to look at. Um, so there you have it. There is the Delonkey small ceramic heater. Thank you so much for watching.